Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at questions 6 to 9 of section 3 of the Purple Booklet. This is a question about a pharmaceutical compound called X, and it decomposes when it's dissolved in water. I've copied out the graph here, and question 6 says, which of the following is the best estimate of the amount of X that decomposes in the first 100 minutes? Well, we need to look at our diagram for this one, so from 100 uh, we can draw some lines to see how much of X is left after our uh, 100 minutes. And so it's a roughly about 0 0.025 um, moles per litre that's left. And if there is 0 0.1 initially, we want to take away that, um, our answer will be roughly 0 0.075. And of course, this is an estimate. We can't truly see off the diagram that clearly. Um, so the answer for question six, which is going to be the one that's closest to this number, is of course going to be um, not point not seven six, which is D. If we look at question seven, then it says which of the following is the best estimate of T three over four for the composition of X. So uh, just for the notation, T one over two, which is a half, um, is going to be the half life, and this the amount of time it takes for the concentration to drop by half. So that means T three over four is the amount of time for the concentration to drop um, to one quarter of what it initially was. So the estimate for the value of three over four, um, well, at what point is roughly three quarters of it gone? Well, that's around 100 minutes. We got that in the last answer. Um, so that means that the answer for seven is going to be C. Number eight says, which of the following is the best estimate for the rate of decomposition of X 30 minutes after the solution was made? Okay, so for the rate of a reaction, um, we're looking at how much happens in what period of time, and that's going to be, in this case, the rise over run or the gradient of the, of the curve at 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is around here. So if you took this line up, what's the gradient of the curve at this point? To me, that looks sort of like if you drew a line from here to here. Those lines look quite similar, so if I can draw a better one. These two lines look quite similar in gradient. And so because we've got two nice points on either end here, um, we can work out just approximately what the gradient would be. So the rise over run, which would be the, the gradient, is going to be um, 0 0.02 divided by 20, which gives us an answer of 0 0.001. And of course, the, limp, the symbols for this would be um, this here, this would be the unit for it. So um, 0 0.001 is 1 times 10 to the minus 3, of course. So then that's most close to which answer? Well, that's basically the same as 9.5 times 10 to the minus 4, which would be 0 0.0095, wouldn't it? And because these numbers are so similar, um, that's probably the best estimate of it. So the answer for this one is also going to be C. And then finally, um, question nine asks, is the decomposition of X a first order reaction? Well, the first order reaction, remember, is a reaction that uh, where the rate decreases at the same rate as the concentration of the reactants decreases. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship between the concentration of X and the amount of time so um, for something with a stable half-life, it would be um, a first order reaction. You know, the, the amount of time it takes for the concentration to half is the same always. Therefore, it would be a concentration, sorry, a first order reaction. But we're looking at the reasons why. Um, so we can rule out A and C because they say no. And we know for this sort of reaction, of course, it would be first order. Looking at B, then it says, yes, the plot line in the figure is a curved line. Well, first order reactions don't necessarily have to be a curved line, they could be a straight line. Um, and the shape of the curve could be different, say for example if it was a second order reaction it would be a curved line too. The fact that it's a curved line doesn't really tell you very much. What about um, option D which says the concentration decreases by a certain amount in the first 50 minutes and half of that in the next 50 minutes, which shows that the concentration um, as it halves the rate of um, decomposition halves as well, so it's a one-to-one -one 
uh, relationship between the two. And that's why it's a first order reaction. So that's why the answer for number nine is going to be D. So that was question six to nine uh, in section three of the purple booklet. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.